Here's one of the best PM career advice I'd ever gotten from a product leader at a big tech company. He said there are two strategies to consider when it comes to deciding what you want to do in your PM career. You either compound in your current area or you go into a new area. Compounding is just going deeper in an area. For example, in payments, you will study consumer, platform, merchant facing risk, fraud, etc. And a new area is to do a full reset, but rely on some transferable skills. Think of planning, communication to stakeholders, analysis, synthesis, etc. And of course, problem definition. But for the reset, he thinks that sometimes the industry just dies itself and becomes no longer exciting to work. He was an operating systems engineer for his first decade. It was a dead end. He needed a reset. And the right time to choose this over compounding is when you realize that you are no longer able to grow in this area and you need help getting unstuck if for whatever reason you just feel uninspired, you know? And what's interesting is most PMs in their career will have done both. His theory was that the biggest wins in PMing comes from intuition. PMing is a game of intuition and it takes a lot of compounding, years and years of it, to have very crisp intuition. When you look at Bill Reddy, the CEO of Pinterest, ex-CEO of Braintree and Venmo, and even was a vice president at Google, he's been doing payments for his entire career. He has made some of the most successful big calls via mostly intuition through experience, not solely analysis or research. What's interesting is that in a lot of people's product careers, people tend to think offensively like pursue new areas like they're more exciting. But his advice is to juice out as much as possible the current trajectory in order to master the game of intuition. And if you enjoyed this, please follow along and I'll be posting more about product management, startups and the creator economy.